Hi, I'm Austin. We all have used marinades in the past. Most simply add flavor to the outside of the meat at best, while others cook the meat using acid. However, many marinades don't actually tenderize the meat. That's usually done mechanically. But this set of three tenderize protein enzymatically. With these puppies in hand, we should be able to tenderize this here flank steak. It comes from the cow's abs without the use of a mechanical tenderizer like a knife or a meat grinder. But first, the background. Now enzymes, they do work. And there are many out in the world that we simply have no idea how they work or what they work on. But we do know that they work. Enzymes do work so well that they are persnickety. And they've earned that right. They're absolutely the best at what they do in the world. Because of this, they must be put in the correct environment. Otherwise, they either don't work as well, less efficient, or they pass away. Now these three have enzymes in them that we know do work on proteins. First, we have the pineapple. Now most people know about pineapple's ability to leave a tingly slash scratchy sensation in your mouth. This is done by bromelain, doing work on the proteins found in your mouth. Now bromelain is a protease. Let's enzymatically break down the word protease. Prote means protein and ace means enzyme. In other words, this enzyme does work specifically on proteins. Next we have the papaya fruit. It contains the enzyme papain, which is known to break down proteins through hydrolysis. What is hydrolysis, you ask? The word hydrolysis breaks down into hydro, meaning water, and lysis, which means to unbind. When you unbind a protein, it goes from looking like this to this. Since water is being added to the meat by the enzyme, I have a feeling this will create a more juicy texture. Now this last one surprises me the most in terms of a source of tenderizing enzymes, and that's ginger. The channel sponsor boasts the enzyme zincobane, which like bromelain is another protease. Now the marinades are made pretty simply, but there are some things we must keep in mind. Remember, they must be in the correct environment to do good work. Now bromelain can be found in the pineapple's flesh and skin, so they both go in the blender. Papain can be found in the papaya's flesh, but I'm not sure if it's in the skin, seeds, or leaves, so we'll just leave them out and just use the orange stuff. Zingamane, on the other hand, can be found in the whole ginger root, skin and flesh. However, there's a special consideration for zingamane. It likes slightly acidic environments, so instead of water, we're going to blend with soy sauce. With our three enzymes nice and comfy and ready to work, let's add our meat. We're gonna close our eyes and pretend that these enzymes like fridge temperatures and leave them in there for about two hours. It's grill season, so after rinsing the marinade off and patting them dry, I moved outside to sear the meat over some hot coals. Quick things I notice. The meat's fibers are noticeably separated after marination for all three marinades. Also, the shape of the meat remained intact. Could you at least tell the control meat almost contracted? immediately contracted and shrank. That was not me, Jerry. That was not me. All four seared very nicely with the ginger having the most dramatic sear marks, but I think it's because of the heat and not so much of the marinade. Of the three marinades, the ginger marinade was probably my favorite, but that's likely because of the salt and the soy sauce. All three made a noticeably more tender steak, with the enzymes penetrating pretty far into the meat within the two hour marination which I think is pretty impressive. With the rinsing steps and the lack of salt, none of the marinades transferred their flavors over into the steak. Now, depending on the recipe, that may or may not be what you want, but I find the tropical flavors are a little bit hard to work with, so I actually like that flexibility. Now, one last final note, Papain did have a texture difference. Now, I might be a little biased, but I felt like it had a little bit of a wetter texture. Uh, not off-putting at all, just noticeable and be a nice touch for certain proteins, uh, maybe chicken. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe to get more of that sweet science action and that sweet, sweet enzymatic marinade action. Let me know what you think. Did you like the video? Do you think I cooked my steak wrong? Have you ever heard of any other marinades like this? I'd love to know. I think these marinades are pretty cool and I'm glad to know that any of the three will work to add tenderness to your steak. And it now makes sense why cultures around the world have been using fruits and roots like this to enhance their food. Anyway, my name is Austin, and this has been Enzymatic Marinade. And until next time, 
We out, baby.